Okay, I have previously set up a group on my Moodle module and I now want to set up an attendance register for that group of students. So with editing turned on, I simply go and add an activity, attendance, and click add. I can now rename this. And I'm going to select the group mode, separate groups. Now, if you're not sure what some of the functionality is for, the little question mark in the yellow circle, if you click on that, it gives you an explanation of what that functionality does. In this case, setting my groups to separate means that the students cannot see groups that are not their own group. If we had chosen to set that to visible groups, it would mean everyone can see the existence of the other groups, but they just can't interact with them. So I'm going to leave that as separate groups so the activity is invisible to anyone who's not assigned to the group. So I'll just save that and return to the course. So here is my group attendance. I'm going to click on that and specify when these sessions are actually taking place. I'll just go to add a session, select my group. If you had multiple groups of students in here, which you normally would have if you're wanting to use the group functionality, they would all appear on the list here. So in this case, I want multiple sessions running from today for one hour and they're going to run through until December, the end of the session before Christmas. And I'll say that each of these sessions runs on a Friday. You could specify the time that the session starts. It's not absolutely necessary. In this case, I'm just doing a demonstration, so it makes no difference for this. But you may have a very complicated timetable and you want to keep track of absolutely everything with pinpoint accuracy. So it's there if you want to use it. The frequency is every week. If something happened once a month, I would put in every four weeks. And that's how you would manage the, the reoccurrence of the sessions. If you wanted an individual one-off session, you just wouldn't tick the multiple sessions box. Simple as that. So I'm just going to add that session in. Click continue. And go back to my sessions. And here we have it. There are all the sessions available. And if I want to mark that and register, I simply click on the little green button. And there we have it. Uh, this student was present. This one was late. This one was absent. And save the attendance. Continue. If I discover that student actually had an exemption, I can come back in and edit. There we go. And I can also add in a comment for each and save the changes. And that's all there is to it.